in our busy skies, controlling each flight from departure to arrival is integral to maintaining our excellent safety record. The flight is controlled by a controller from the time it pushes off the gate uh, to the time it gets to its destination and parks at the gate and the door is open. The reason for that is for safety. There's so many airplanes in the air traffic system. They need to be separated and they need to be controlled. It's a complex world. Simply clearing each flight from the gate to the runway may involve several steps. The pilot will call for a clearance, either via electronic means or clearance delivery. He'll receive his clearance from departure to destination. Uh, the airplane will then push off the gate and talk to the ground controller at Dulles, who will take him to the appropriate runway and put him where he needs to be referenced other aircraft or in line for his sequence reference weather or any other factors affecting that flight. The local controller will then take the aircraft and he's the one that actually issues the takeoff clearance to the aircraft to get him airborne. After a flight takes off, the tower controller tells the pilot to contact departure control, a part of another air traffic entity known as TRACON. TRACONs typically handle both departures and approaches for instrument flights within a designated area, which usually includes both large and small airports. Once the air traffic control tower successfully hits your flight off to us at the TRACON, it's our job to get you through all the other aircraft in the local area and up to your cruising altitude and on the way to your destination. We work those aircraft that are transiting from the airports into the inward structures, so we have all of the climbing and the descending from roughly 23,000 feet down to the surface. As each flight moves beyond the terminal radar control area, it is passed on to a regional air route traffic control center where the flight is carefully directed to its destination. There are 20 regional in-route air traffic control centers covering the continental United States. In every center, uh, they have sectors, they have areas. The sector is the smallest part of the center, and then there's the area, which would be a larger portion of the center, but with different sectors within that area. The FAA is working vigorously with the air transportation industry to keep air traffic flow as streamlined as it can be. So the U.S. air traffic system of tomorrow will continue to be the best in the world.